What up, CPAC? It's your boy, C Dog MD, Stephanie Lapid, a couple of hospitalists from Sound Physicians, your boy Logan. Who do we have over here? Eve, UMC Hospital. Eve from UMC Hospital. She's patient experience, actually, just experience, because she's letting us shoot our Nursing Week parody right here in the hospital. And what do we have? The most famous nurse on the planet. Two hospitalists no one has ever seen who are amazing. They're awesome. A male nurse, aka Z Dog MD, and only a thousand people are watching, so don't stress out. And guys, today, the reason we're broadcasting today, the reason we're shooting this video today, is that nurses are taking our capital by storm today. What do you think of that, Steph? Like, they're marching awesome. for staffing ratios, they're marching. She was there. Though. She wishes she was there. I was going to be there, but I couldn't make it because I had like five gigs in a row, then I had to get back and shoot this video. So it was either like, nurses get a video, or Z-Dog goes to DC and like, gets ignored by a lot of nurses. Okay? So it was a simple, you know, don't make me pull my epi out. <laughs> Anyway, so so let, let's let's talk about this thing. Like, how do you think staffing really is a challenge for nursing currently, or is it yeah. all just made up? Is this a made up no, crisis? Is it fake not. news, Stephanie? Like, come on in, come on in, tell us. I'm like, I think that there are staffing ratio issues. I think everybody across the nation has that issue. Um, Hospitalists don't have problem with staffing ratios. I mean, oh, you don't nice. have too many patients, right? <laughs> never, never. No. <laughs> exactly. Sound physicians treat their docs good, though. Very yes. good. Yes. See? Please continue. But I mean, like everybody comes with those challenges, and we like to think that everybody has the same ratios all throughout the country, but it kind of doesn't happen. So you think there's a lot of variability in? Yeah, for sure. So are you med surge, Stephanie? No, I'm critical care float. Critical care float, because my nurses can't do anything but float. But hey, do. you're welcome. you okay. So as a critical <laughs> care float, you have staffing ratios that are pretty tight, right? Like it's one to. Two to two to one. Two to one. In ICU. Okay. Four to one generally in the ER. Got it. And step down. Got it. Do you think acuity should play a role? Oh, and the yes. hospitals can wait. So acuity matters in staffing. It's not just numbers. It's like, do I have somebody on a vent who's, you know, coding and this is happening and then like four drips, right. Right. Exactly. And then the usual exactly. ICU case of hangnail, not otherwise specified. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. I mean you guys yes. are always admitting the ICU right. hangnails. Always. Paranychia. Oh yes. yes. Now the other day, yeah. come over here, come over here. I want this man admitted from the emergency department, he's a hospitalist, an acute paranychia. I did. Yeah. And he did it just to be nice to the ER docs. You know why? Because we love our ER docs. They're brothers from other mothers. We need to have throughput. Throughput? Right. Yes. That's right. I, like that. I mean, he could have gone home, but why? Why when you can spend $1,000 a night? Definitely. Or $5,000 a night? Definitely. Yeah, thanks. Anything you want to tell the z pack z packs awesome. How about nurses? What do you think about nurses? Our nurses uh, here at UMC and throughout, I mean, they're, they're great. Yeah. I think they're overwork. Ooh, overwork, right? That's a politically charged <laughs> statement. It's also true. Right, very true. Yeah, yeah, it's also true. And uh, and and how about yourself? Uh, me. Yes. <laughs> what do you think about your nurses? I love them. If it, if it wasn't for my nurses, I wouldn't even be where I am now. We love you, nurses. Yes. We love, love you. And it's you not just nurses death. week. It's All not just time. nurses week. It's yes. every day, every, every day. day. Every day. Every you day. got three docs and one nurse. That's a staff and ratio. Yes. That is that a staff and ratio yes. right there. And she can handle all of us. Yes. <laughs> right. Everyone. Like, I've already been intubated twice. I've had four Foley's, one in the rectum, just for good measure. Right. It's like day two in the rectum. That was, oh. Yeah, yeah. But because the balloon. Count. Yeah. It was like 22 French. It wasn't. Uh, so, this idea that um, y'all are wa marching on DC to let our legislators know that nurses work really hard and it's unsafe to have them work in unsafe staffing conditions. Mm -hmm. And it's mostly acuity, guys. It's not necessarily numbers. It's really acuity. True. True. If you had a magic wand, Stephanie, to make nursing better overnight, what would you do? Do you have a sense, like a couple things you might do that would just make it like so much better? Um, well, obviously acuity, to to patient staffing ratios would be awesome if we could <laughs> magically just to have everything in place perfectly. But of course, it's not a perfect world. Everybody knows that. Speak for yourself. My world is perfect, girl. There's a Foley in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the first thing when Stephanie, when Stephanie came on set today, she was like, so Zita, what do you shoot? Why is there a Foley in your pocket? And I'm like, you got you nurses don't carry Foley's in your pocket like this? She's like, that's not sterile. I'm like, what? My UTI rate is only a hundred percent. Like, what? What could possibly go wrong with just? Should we just go ahead? You want to go ahead and do me the? 
<laughs> just, just go ahead and inflate that balloon. Just show, just show the Z-Pack how we do it. That's how we do it in Vegas, people. Balloon up, then insert the catheter. <laughs> I wish sometimes. <laughs> let's, read some, let's read some comments. Brandon Bliss has given us some major props. What do we got here? Matthew Johnson, can you discuss what the staffing ratios are supposed to be versus what actually happens? I'm an EMT and I do a lot of calls to nursing facilities where the ratio tends to be one nurse to like 20 oh. patients. What's your take, Steph? Well, and that's probably like, that's that's probably like long-term, right. Yeah, that's Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. And I always wondered like what's, who like regulates right. those, because I feel like it's never the same regulation. It's never the, the same. No, in each right. place, I feel different. like has a different number of patients. Right. Too. Different in every hospital. Yeah. Different in every hospital. In California, they have legal mandated staff right. regulations. Right. And so if you're in Cali nurses, let us know. What's that like? like I know the California Nursing Association are big fans of what we do. Uh, oh, spell it out for us. Tell us if this really worked. Um, oh, and by the way, you know what? Why don't you guys... Well, let's answer some more comments, and we'll show them what we're doing, okay? Because we're doing Moana. We added a wrap in, right? Doc, honestly, these ships go on and on. <laughs> Edie, the, what is it? Um, med search to Edie, pack you. I no, med search to Edie, Nick, you pack you and beyond. <laughs> that time early sepsis was found. That was your nurse just messing around. We chart all day to cover our butts. Common the codes when the doctors go nuts. All right, we're gonna do this. Uh, <laughs> So here, hey from Wisconsin, they're three to one in the PCU, no CNAs or acuity considered, love nurses. Janine Smith. So that's interesting. Mm. I mean, what, so, and you know, we were talking earlier, I mean, well, a lot of times you get mistaken for a nurse by patients, right? Yes. Mm. And All this the is the time. typical the mommy doc thing, and you're not a mommy, right? No. But you're a female doc and you get, now, I, when I get mistaken for a nurse, because especially when I wear scrubs like this, with, with the foley, with the little pockets, they're like, are you my nurse? And I'm like, that's an upgrade, right? Because now suddenly I work three times as hard for like a third of the pay. So we'll take that as a compliment when we're mixed always. up with nurses, right? I always say thank you when they say that. Isn't that nice? Because I love my nurses. I always, yeah, oh, look at these. Doctors, doctors, doctors nurses, yes. BFFs, living together, dogs and cats, mass hysteria. Um, so now that we got to give our support to our sisters and brothers in D.C. For fighting sure. the fight, yeah, sure. just as the the Republicans are voting on health care acts and pass through the, the House. And so there's a lot at stake, guys. So be active. Be active. People keep saying politics and medicine don't mix. Well, we want to be trans political. But remember, there's so much that affects us that happens in D.C. that if you don't give your voice, if you don't vote, if you don't make your voice heard, whatever your thoughts are, no one's going to care. Nothing's going to happen. Let's read some comments. And then we can, we can even throw an ad on. Just oh. to, you know what? How about I throw an ad and I'm going to donate it to, uh, donate it to the Show Me Your Stethoscope guys. Yeah. Go. Should we do that? Yeah. I think they have a not-for-profit. Let's do yeah. Here's an ad, guys. And action. Watch the ad and we're going to donate the proceeds. Here we go. We're back. Thank you for watching that ad. We're going to donate that to nurses or a nursing cause. Now, guys. Z Dog is always making fun of administrators. Why? Because they're easy. They're easy to make fun of. However, when they're awesome, we got to give them love. And here are a couple of awesome administrators. Yes. So tell us what you tell us your names and what y'all do. This is Eve. Uh, Eve Olivera. Well, well, community relations <laughs> coordinator. <laughs> I'm Jennifer, and I am the experience supervisor. So what does that mean, experience? Experience for who? Everybody. For everybody. For everybody. So you are in charge of making sure that we actually care about people's experiences in the hospital. Does that include caregivers? That is our goal, yes. Ooh. So patients, doctors, nurses, CNAs, pharmacists, people who work in material management, people in the lab, which by the way was shot right here in UMC, thanks to y'all for letting us do that. So that's awesome. Is there anything you wanna tell the nurses right now who are in DC trying to lobby their legislatures uh, legis legislators to make sure they have appropriate support? Is there any magic bullet for that, or is it just we got to treat each other nice? We have to treat each other nice. Oh, yes. Spoken like a true administrator. I mean, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You guys are awesome. So thanks, thanks, thank you so much for letting us shoot. And if anything else you want to tell the pack? Thanks for coming. Oh my gosh. <laughs> thank you guys. So. So, now, so. we are going to get back. Let's go walk over and see what's going on with the shoot. Now, one more thing about nurses. Yes. Listen, Stephanie is now a famous nurse because she has worked the IV pole. She has been in multiple videos. She has yes. rolled her eyes at a drug seeker in one of our videos. Like, oh, my gosh, here we go. She's just done everything. She's just for the video, not she in real life. In real life, she... 
She, <laughs> she's sensitive, compassionate. Do you guys hand out narcotics like candy or what? I mean, the patients don't come if we don't. See, there you go. Mm, I know. H caps. That's what. That's what. H caps. It's all about Press patient candy. experience. Press candy. Yes. That's medicine, baby. Yes. It's total BS. Total BS. <laughs> Acronyms. Acronyms. Uh, let's go walk over and, and I want to say one more thing for nurses. Mm -hmm. Like we love and support you here at Z Dog Industries and beyond. And we're shooting this video for you. Stay tuned. It's coming out maybe over the weekend, but in time for Nurses Week. Stephanie's a star. These two are stars. I'm a star because. <laughs> right. <laughs> what can I say except you're welcome? Because I'm just so awesome and nah, I'm a loser. Okay, Aww, I'm so sad. No, I'm so sad. Let's walk over here. Come on, come on, come on. All right. Logan is sitting in the big boy chair. What is this? What? I'm doing all the work. He, yeah, he's doing What are you doing? Like just texting? Texting. Yeah. Are we going to do the show today? This may be the show today. This uh, may be. Well, we don't know. We might still do incident report today. All right. Let's check it out. Let's see what's happening. Here's our, here's our red camera. So this is fancy pants. And this is how we make the magic happen. There's Chan uh, Chance. You want to say hi to the Z Pack? Hey, how you doing, guys? <laughs> that Chance makes everything happen. All right. Um, so we're going to come off. Here. Let's go to the right side with that, Ethan. Camera right. <laughs> That's our green screen. That's where we're going to make everybody look like they're More? somewhere else, oh, yeah. which yeah. makes it super legit. Oh, gotcha. You guys will recognize Ethan as the patient in every single video. He also runs the camera stuff. And uh, that's pretty much what we got, guys. Like, let's say bye to these guys. All right. First of all, look at this. Closed drink at the nurse's station. <laughs> Where is Jayco when we need them? Um, so we're actually totally, we're totally on protocol. I want to thank UMC Hospital for being amazing. I want to I want to thank Sound Physicians for sending extras who are actually real docs. And I want to thank the nurses around the world and around the country who are there today in DC representing, showing them their stethoscopes, their nursing stethoscopes which doctors borrow and keep represent. and represent. We love you all. Hit share on this if you love a nurse. Let other nurses know that we support them. And we want them to rock. We're going to get this video out for you all. So stay yeah, tuned. For sure. And we out.